hello youtube welcome back to my video today i'm going to show you how to install oracle 11g database on a windows pc first log on to the website oracle.com so you'll get this website here go to the download section you can see uh, the oracle database here just click on the oracle database just go down we are going to install uh, oracle 11g release 2 so for my pc it's a microsoft windows 64 uh, bit i'm going to download these two files okay just accept uh, the license agreement and uh, download these two files so it may ask uh, to sign up with the oracle so the, the sign up is a normal process uh, just uh, click create account and uh, fill out your details and just uh, sign up for the for this uh, oracle so only that only then you can download uh, this, these two files the two files I have shown so I have already downloaded that uh, files here oracle 11g so these are the two files so I'm going to unzip uh, these two files so it will uh, take a little bit time so i'm gonna fast forward this video okay now i have extracted uh, the two zip files now go to the second so from the components folder copy all these uh, four folders and come back to the first folder of the database once a database uh, inside stage and inside component just paste that four folders here so run the uh, setup as in administrator mode uh, wait for some time till the oracle universal installer uh, loads up with your ui part of the installation okay let's uh, go on uh, installing so it's asking your email id and uh, if you want to get any security updates you can give a uh, email id and if you have uh, oracle uh, account support account you can just give the password here to get uh, the updates to your email so i'm not going uh, going to give email id just carry on so uh, it's asking you your confirmation without email do you want to proceed i'm just clicking yes so here uh, it's asking the install option you can uh, either go for uh, creating and configuring a database in single shot or install database softwares separately or upgrade the existing database i am going to select create and configure database so click next again so is this a desktop class or a server class if it's your local pc and you want to test your your application your web application your any application this is your uh, desktop class if you want to deploy this as a server like uh, you will be having a lot of clients and uh, you are deploying in this one this uh, Oracle in a server you can you can sell the server class so I'm going to uh, sell the desktop class again click next so here it is uh, asking some typical configuration settings uh, for your Oracle let's check one by one so in this screen we are going to set uh, the base folder and the software location the database location we are not going to touch anything here so uh, you have to put your administrative password so i am giving a password like uh, microsoft so once uh, you have put your password just click next so it's uh, saying uh, the password is not enough to the oracle standards uh, don't mind we are uh, not checking that just proceed so it's now checking the prerequisite uh, check whether your your pc is uh, good enough to install everything 
so once your pre uh, prerequisite check is completed you it will you'll get a summary of what all the installation we are going to uh, do just click finish so it will start uh, the installation a uh, one by one uh, stated here first you will prepare copy and set up file so it's a time consuming uh, process it will take up to 15 to 20 minutes uh, so i am fast forwarding this video now just wait for some time more on this uh, database configuration assistant to get configured so we have reached the final step of uh, database creation so, wait for some time once the database configuration assistant has uh, finished the preliminary configuration you will get this screen uh, for the password management of the users of your database so just click on the password management it will show uh, first all the users available by default for your oracle database here i'm going to unlock three usernames here with new password so I'm giving a password like A B C D one two three four. Confirm password A B C D one two three four. Again, one more user which we'll be needing in further steps. So I'll show you uh, further why I'm unlocking this one HR. okay so I have uh, created three users I have set password for three users so I'm clicking ok now so it's saying the password is not up to the oracle standards just click yes we don't go for that and uh, once it is done click ok so here it is we have uh, installed the release to 11g oracle database here so I'm going to the, to the final step finish button here so I'm just closing the installer here so we have already all we have all set for the final installation I mean the final step of finishing the installation you can see uh, the link for our database will be this one so you can note it down somewhere we'll be uh, we'll be needing this because uh, to uh, access the GUI part of this uh, Oracle 11G you will be needing this a uh, link so now to check the database uh, install or not just go to your command prompt first uh, we have to set the Oracle SID so it will be uh, the ORCL which uh, we have uh, given in the first screen of the installation okay we have set the oracle SID now just uh, connect with the sysdba sql plus slash s sysd sysda okay now we can we connected with sql plus and again sql plus is slash oracle s is ba uh, sysda okay fine uh, just uh, this is uh, connected successfully with Oracle with SQL plus now to see uh, our databases which are available the query is SQL name from the toller database okay now we can see uh, the available database ORCL which is successfully uh, created and configured and uh, that's all uh, with this command line uh, uh, command line with now we can check the GUI part of uh, this oracle lemon g now uh, let's check from the ui part so i'm going to paste that uh, link of our ui of the oracle which we got from the installation just click that 
so you'll be getting uh, the login screen of 11g manager so i am uh, putting my username and password a b c d one two three four and connect as sysdb you have to see select sysdba not as normal so i'm selecting logging in just wait for some time so it's preparing your first logging here we are so our oracle uh, is installed successfully you can uh, see all the preliminary details of uh, our or our database the performance availability server the schema everything so that's all uh, about uh, the installation of uh, oracle so further i'll be showing how to use this in your java application or any dotnet or any application so if you have any doubt in uh, this installation please comment below i'll be helping you and i'll be sharing uh, the installation files of this in my description you can download it and uh, so thanks for watching and please like, comment and subscribe for my videos. Thank you.